Hey guys, hey, I wanted to drop a quick video on workflows. That's something that I always loved as soon as it came out. And now that campaigns and triggers are no longer supported, either you have to learn how to do the workflows or you got to learn to do the workflows. That's just the only choice, right? So let's jump into my system. I'm going to show my screen, show you guys uh, one, how to start a workflow, how that works, what's the options for you. And two, if you stick around to the end, there's two things that I've seen people do over and over that ruin your workflow and cause them not to work a hundred percent of the time. So stick with me. I'm going to share my screen. Let's get into it. What happened maybe about a month ago, two months ago, something like that was everybody went over to campaigns. They clicked on it and then found out that the campaigns and the triggers are no longer maintained. Please move to workflows. So when workflows first came out, I had a feeling that this was going to go in this direction because it did all of the things that campaigns and triggers were able to do. So let me break it down for you. Workflows are like a four lane highway, okay? That you can keep adding more lanes onto this highway where a trigger was only one lane, okay? So for example, in a trigger, if someone said, do not text me, okay? Then we can add that as a trigger of do not text me and then other things will happen to automations, right? But if somebody said, don't text me, we had to create a second trigger that said, don't text me, right? Because you couldn't put, do not text me, don't text me into the same place. And that's what workflows achieve for you. Okay. Not only that, but workflows do a lot of cool things in the background that I can go over, but we're getting at the beginning part of the workflows okay let's go to create a workflow we're going to start from scratch here now as i mentioned the trigger is going to be the thing that kicks off the workflow but there's two ways of doing it okay it can start with a trigger or you can force it using a second workflow that ties into this one so it gets a little complicated but don't worry about it I got it. Okay. So we're going to choose the trigger. So let me move this over to the side and you can see these are all the triggers that activates this workflow. So if we have a birthday reminder, the contact has been changed. Um, if a tag was added, notes added, we got some web hooks, some events, um, the appointments opportunities, if a lead was changed from open to one or from open to lost, these different things can happen. OK, typically where we're going to be is if a customer replied to us or if a tag was added. So let's start there so we can actually go right here and go tag. And choose the contact tag. Now we can choose if a tag was added or removed. Or we could choose any of the other options from our custom fields. That's all available here. Okay. But we're going to choose the contact tag. So now we pick the correct pre foreclosure tag. I look tags is one of the things that will set your system apart. As long as you keep to the tags and don't freestyle it, you'll be fine. But let's choose tag added pre foreclosure. We're going to save that as the trigger. Okay. Now, once the tag of pre foreclosure is added, we can add in a action at this point. So these are different than the triggers. Okay. This is the thing that happens after the trigger occurs. So we can update the contact field, which is a really cool one, right? We could assign to the user. We could do a D and D or send some type of communication here, a SMS call, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, 
and then we have some internal tools right so what we can do here is when that contact tag is changed to pre foreclosure then we can send them an sms so that's typically let's that's like the easy one right we can automatically send the sms or we could do a manual sms in case you wanted to throw the carriers off just a little bit and make it look like you're sending out the text yourself with the click of a button okay boom so just change that all right so that's going to be the sms that we're going to send out whenever someone receives a pre foreclosure tag right always remember when you're doing these steps along the way please come up here and hit save every once in a while if you don't then sometimes you'll make a lot of changes hit refresh all of those changes go away and then you have it it's terrible it's terrible so don't do that okay hit it to save and I just cut it on here. So now the pre foreclosure tag is going to get this SMS and we can test that workflow right here. Okay. Now that's the simple one, two step way of creating a workflow. But like I said, there's two things that people do that make a workflow fail a lot of times, right? Save yourself the frustration. Here's the two one is you go under settings and under settings, you want to click allow re-entry. Okay. This is for the ones that the workflows that people come through a couple of times, because what will happen is you'll create a workflow, you'll test it out and then you'll try to, or you make some changes, go to test it out a second time. And then, it'll fail a hundred percent of the time because you don't have this click. It won't even allow it into the workflow. That's number one. Okay. Number two is when something happens, people like to use this option here, which is removed from all workflows. Very cool option. When someone says not interested, you take them off of those follow up workflows. If somebody says do not contact me, you can remove them from those uh, any future text messages. But when you choose remove from all workflows, this becomes highlighted when you choose it. Make sure to toggle that off if needed. And here's why, right? Because if this is on, this is going to remove them from all workflows including this workflow. So let's say, for example, we have um, after this, we want to uh, send an internal notification. So pull comps is going to be the notification. Sorry about that. Let's pick the conversation and we're going to pick all users. Okay. So when we save this, I'm going to add in a wait feature here just so I can show you guys how this goes. So I'm going to wait 99 minutes and save. So let's see how this works. Okay. I have this wait here and I'm going to test this workflow. And then we're going to run this test. So let's run it. We click run. I put the wait feature there to catch it. And all we have to do, here's a tip for you in order to test it, just click over to settings, come back to builder and one, I got the text message came through my phone and two is now it's here waiting. So, in order to prove my point, let's copy this. Let's copy this action and copy it here. So we're going to see what happens when we force this through to the next step. We click the button, move all. Let's refresh it. 
and now it's gone. So you can see by using the remove from all workflows, we want to be careful that either this is going to be the last action in the workflow, or we want to make sure not to have this toggle at all. Okay. So I know you're probably comfortable with workflows. If you're not comfortable with workflows, get comfortable, right? Because it's going to change and automate a lot of stuff in the background of your business, right? Now, how comfortable are you with learning to put together these workflows? Well, everybody starts somewhere, but if you need to get a jump start on anything, that's what I do. It's pre-built for you. It has a lot of the fields, drop downs, automations, and customizations that you need in the system. But I encourage everyone to get in there, take a look and do a lot of this stuff yourself. You know what I'm going to say, right? Like subscribe, share, right? Comment when you guys comment on a video or you share the video, like it, it messes with the algorithm and YouTube just puts it as priority. Okay. So if you got something out of it, please do any one of those things because it's free. It's free. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Hang in there. Happy investing. Talk to you later.